inflammation got you down? Feeling the aches and pains? Well, guess what? Your body has a secret weapon. I'm talking about your built-in ninjas, endogenous antioxidants. They fight off free radicals, those troublemakers causing all the inflammation. But there's a twist. It's more than a battle. It's a balancing act, a redox dance keeping you youthful. Want to know more about these ninja antioxidants and master the redox code for a healthy aging? Check out my full podcast. If you don't know me yet, I'm Robin Thomas, founder of Living Well Connections, a healthy living community that supports, educates, and empowers us all to make healthy decisions toward a more balanced and fulfilling life. I have a background in medical research, and I love exploring the interplay of our physical, mental, and spiritual selves. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about free radicals, oxidative stress, and how oxidants help balance the free radicals to help us stay healthy, especially during the aging process. I also raised the question on whether antioxidants do not actually work the way we thought they did. I introduced the topic of endogenous antioxidants that are produced by our own cells. Today, we'll talk more about the role of endogenous enzymes, those ninjas that fight inflammation while keeping our body in balance. Remember, endogenous antioxidants are hundreds of times more powerful than any antioxidants you eat. Since many of them are enzymes, they can reduce free radicals over and over and over again, while the usual antioxidants only have one shot and neutralizing free radicals by donating an electron one at a time. Do you remember high school biology and learning about the mitochondria? These are the energy powerhouse in each cell that generates energy in every cell in your body. Well, if you've forgotten, Mitochondria use the air we breathe and the food we eat to make energy so our cells can grow, divide, and function. During this natural process, mitochondria also produce free radicals inside our cells. Now I'm going to challenge you with some new information you may not have heard. Free radicals are not the outright enemy. We now understand that some free radicals and reactive molecules are essential to the cell and play important roles in cellular functions. These include regulating blood pressure, gene expression, cell signaling, protein activation, cell turnover, and our body's immune response. Nature has actually learned to live with the free radicals produced by our mitochondria through energy production. And in fact, frequently uses them to our advantage. And remember, our bodies also make endogenous antioxidants such as glutathione that work inside our cells to neutralize free radicals. It's all about balance. Think back to your playground days playing on the seesaw. I used to love walking on the seesaw from one end to the other, pausing to balance in the middle. For me, this was much more fun than sitting on the end, being jerked around by the always much heavier child, frequently one of my older brothers, on the opposite side. A recent theory on inflammation on aging is based on a similar balancing act. Human cells in an oxidized reactive state that is prone to damage versus cells in a reduced, more stable state. This is called the redox stress theory of aging. As we age, there becomes a time in our 40s where the shift in our redox state moves the set point of these critical redox signaling pathways towards an increase in cellular damage. This shift can easily account for higher susceptibilities in immunity, 
increased inflammatory responses and increased chronic diseases as we age. Our body has an amazing natural process for keeping this redox seesaw in balance. The formation of endogenous antioxidants and the regulation of inflammatory cytokines. Remember cytokines? They are those small signaling proteins that activate inflammation for a healthy healing process. But too many cytokines can lead to excess inflammation and conditions like autoimmune diseases. NERF2 and NF-kappa B are examples of receptor proteins that regulate natural chemical pathways in our body. NERF2 signals the production of endogenous antioxidants, and NF-kappa B signals the production of cytokines. We can naturally activate NERF2 through exercise, intermittent fasting, and eating specific plant-based nutrient activators. These same lifestyle choices deactivate NF-kappa B, reducing the activation of inflammatory cytokines. It's important to understand that NERF2 signaling pathway was evolved to use not only any one specific plant nutrient, polyphenol, but an entire variety of plants in our diet. Different nutrients activate NERF2 by different mechanisms and when taken together are synergistic or more effective than when taken separately. A third way that helps keep the redox process in balance is based on the health of the mitochondria, the cellular energy powerhouse that releases free radicals while producing energy from the foods we eat. As our cells age, the mitochondria also ages, and as the mitochondria age, they become less efficient, producing less energy while releasing more free radicals than usual, injuring our cells even more rapidly. If your body simply gave up as the cells age and let the sick and dying cells accumulate, we'd be in a mess. Fortunately, our bodies have the ability to recycle old mitochondria. Called mitophagy, it breaks down the old mitochondria and allows for fresh, efficient mitochondria, resulting in increased energy with less free radical production. Who doesn't want that? All these processes are initiated by specific plant-based nutrients through cell signaling and are dependent on a diet filled with a wide variety of polyphenols, plant nutrients, and fruits and vegetables, an active lifestyle, and periods of caloric restriction or fasting. There's four things I want you to take away from this talk. One, eat a healthy diet filled with a variety of fruits and vegetables with those important polyphenols. Two, move your body every day. Get up from that computer. Three, Consider intermittent fasting. And four, include a high quality multivitamin mineral supplement that includes phytonutrients known to activate these important natural chemical pathways in our body. I recommend USANA's Cell Essentials for many reasons. Not only do they have 100% purity and potency guaranteed, they're much more than a basic multivitamin. Traditional multivitamin supplements simply supply building materials for your cells, while USANA's patented intelligence technology puts our cells to work using a network of cell signaling pathways, directly triggering your body's natural protection and renewal processes. These responses promote youthful cellular function so your body can adapt to your unique lifestyle needs and help you age well. Thank you so much for joining me at my Over 40 and Fabulous podcast. Please let me know if you have any questions about this episode. I will publish new episodes at noon Eastern on Saturdays so you can listen and watch at your convenience. If this podcast has been helpful for you, Please share it on your favorite social media platform or share directly with your fantastic friends. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next episode.